the trust-busting tradition. Why America loves a monopoly showdown. America has a love-hate relationship with big business. We admire ambition and success, but we also fear concentrated power. That's where antitrust laws come in. They're designed to prevent any one company from becoming too dominant. Think of it as a way to keep the playing field level. Antitrust laws aim to protect consumers. They promote competition, which means more choices and lower prices. When one company controls a market, they can dictate terms. This hurts consumers and stifles innovation. Throughout history, the U.S. government has stepped in to break up monopolies. Standard Oil and AT&T are prime examples. These cases show that even the biggest companies aren't above the law. They also demonstrate the importance of keeping markets competitive. So, why does all this matter? Because right now, Google is facing its own antitrust showdown. The outcome could reshape the internet as we know it. Google in the crosshairs, a search engine on trial. The tech giant, known for its ubiquitous search engine, is now facing one of the most significant legal challenges in its history. Google. The name is synonymous with searching the internet. It's a brand that has become an integral part of our daily lives. It's become a verb, a reflex. When you need to find something, you don't just search for it, you Google it. Need to find something? You Google it. This simple act has become second nature to millions around the globe. This ubiquity is at the heart of the government's antitrust case. The Department of Justice is scrutinizing Google's practices. The Department of Justice accuses Google of being a monopoly. They argue that the company has used its dominant position to stifle competition. They argue that Google has stifled competition in search and advertising. By controlling the flow of information, Google has a significant influence over the digital advertising market. By controlling how people find information, Google wields enormous power. This power extends beyond just search results. It impacts how businesses reach their customers. Critics point to Google's dominance in search results. They claim that the company manipulates search algorithms to prioritize its own services. They claim that Google prioritizes its own products and services this practice, they argue, undermines fair competition and limits consumer choice. This can make it difficult for competitors to gain a foothold. Small businesses and new entrants find it challenging to compete on a level playing field. The case centers around whether Google has abused its dominance to maintain its market share. The legal battle could reshape the tech landscape. The Department of Justice believes that Google has created barriers to entry for other companies, making it nearly impossible for new competitors to emerge, essentially stifling competition and innovation. This, they argue, harms consumers by reducing the diversity of available services and products. Google, of course, denies these allegations. They maintain that their practices are fair and within the bounds of the law. They argue that they operate in a competitive market. According to Google, their success is due to their ability to innovate and meet user needs. They claim that their success is a result of innovation and providing a valuable service. Google insists that they are constantly improving to offer the best user experience. We believe that our success is rooted in our commitment to innovation and delivering the best possible user experience. Our goal has always been to make information accessible to everyone. We compete fairly in a highly dynamic market. The tech industry is ever evolving, and we strive to stay ahead by offering superior products and services. The trial is ongoing, and the outcome is uncertain. The stakes are high, and the implications could be far-reaching for the tech industry. However, one thing is clear. 
Google is under intense scrutiny. The world is watching closely as the case unfolds. The government is taking a hard look at the power of big tech. This trial could set a precedent for how tech giants are regulated in the future. Do you think Google has too much power in the search market? The debate continues and the final verdict could change the digital landscape forever. The nuclear option. Could Google be broken up? The possibility of a forced breakup looms large over Google. This tech giant, which has become a household name, is now facing one of the most significant legal challenges in its history. It's the most drastic outcome of the antitrust trial. But is it likely? The stakes are incredibly high and the implications are vast. Breaking up a company is no small feat. It requires not only a legal mandate, but also a detailed plan to dismantle and redistribute the company's assets and operations. It involves complex legal and logistical challenges. The process would be lengthy, involving numerous legal battles and negotiations. The government would need to prove that a breakup is necessary to restore competition. This means demonstrating that Google's current structure stifles competition and harms consumers. This is a high bar to clear. The burden of proof lies heavily on the prosecution, and the defense will undoubtedly put up a strong fight. If Google is broken up, it would have significant ramifications. The tech landscape as we know it could be fundamentally altered. The company could be split into smaller, independent entities. Each new entity would need to establish its own identity and operational strategy. For example, Google Search might be separated from Google Advertising. This separation could lead to a more competitive market in digital advertising. This would fundamentally change how these businesses operate. New management structures and business models would need to be developed. The impact on consumers is difficult to predict. While some may benefit from increased competition and innovation, others might face disruptions in the services they rely on. Some argue that a breakup would lead to more innovation and lower prices. Smaller companies might be more agile and responsive to consumer needs. Others fear it could disrupt services and create confusion. The transition period could be particularly challenging for both consumers and businesses. While a breakup is possible, it's not a foregone conclusion. The court has several options at its disposal. The judge may consider other remedies, such as fines or behavioural changes. These measures could address antitrust concerns without dismantling the company. The final decision will have lasting consequences for Google and the tech industry as a whole. The outcome of this trial could set a precedent for future antitrust cases. What do you think will happen if Google is broken up? The debate continues and the world watches closely. A blast from the past, remembering the AT&T breakup. The spectre of the AT&T breakup hangs over Google's antitrust trial. It serves as a potent reminder of the government's willingness to reshape industries. In 1984, a TAN DT, once a monolithic telecommunications giant, was broken into seven smaller companies. This historic event was the culmination of a decades-long antitrust battle. The government argued that a TAN TS monopoly over telephone service was stifling competition and innovation. The breakup was intended to open up the market and benefit consumers. The results of the AT&T breakup are still debated today. Some argue that it led to lower prices and more choices in the telecommunications industry. Others claim that it fragmented the market and slowed down innovation. The AT&T case provides valuable lessons for the Google trial. It highlights the complexity of antitrust enforcement and the potential consequences of government intervention. It also 